All right, hey, what's up, guys? It's ATL's Finest, and today we're gonna do some DIY canyards for my Miata, the Panda Miata. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like. Let's go see the car. All right, guys, here's how it looks like, how it's gonna look. Got one side done, and we're about to do the other side. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you the components that I've used for my canyards. All right, guys, so what you're first gonna need is some tape to measure, a box cutter, some bolts. You're gonna need some L's that look like these. Focus. And a Sharpie to measure too. You're gonna need a sandpaper to sand the edges. You're gonna need this plastic. You can find it at Home Depot. And some more tape for measuring. And um, I bought this from Home Depot. And they said this was gonna cut it. And it's a piece of shit, so don't fucking use it. And this is my prototype. Alright guys, let's get started. Alright guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where I'm going to cut it in this plastic. Make sure you do your prototype and to do it straight enough and the way you like it. You can always Google pictures online, you know how it looks. You can make your own design, whatever you decide. It's up to you. Alright, so make sure it's Make sure it's perfect, because you don't want to fuck up the line after all this hard work of cutting this. All right, I'm gonna mark it right here. This is like the worst Sharpie you could use, but this is all I've got. Don't oh, fuck around, I'm trying <laughs> on my brother's <laughs> car. It's okay, I'm gonna, go. I'm gonna paint it eventually. All right, here it is. All right, so what I used to go in a straight line is this thin tape, so I don't mess it up. So make sure it's exactly where the line is. And if you and if you did it with a sharpie, and it's a, a little bit, it's a little bit sloppy. This tape will make it a little bit straighter for you. how it's gonna look guys all right so I'm gonna start on this side and uh, I like to start from the top to the bottom because if you start from the bottom to the top it just starts fucking breaking so it's better to stop start from the top all right so you're gonna make sure to put enough pressure where it's actually going in pretty deep Starting since there's, it's not penetrated yet, just, you can just do this too, just a little bit easier. So I will be back after I'm doing this piece of shit. I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, I just finished, it took me about just 15 minutes of just straight cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting. So this is how it looks like. I'm about to sand this down on the sides, everything, so it looks clean. And don't worry about the scratches, because you're gonna paint it black, so it should cover up all these tiny scratch scratches. All right, I'm about to sand this down. I don't know how, how many grits is this, but uh, if you saw my video about the DIY fender cut, when I was sanding down the fender, well, this is the leftover uh, sandpaper that came off. But what you want to do is just sand it down. You can see there's like little leftover cuts, overlaps. And you just want to bring that down. Just play with it. Keep on doing it and playing with it. It will look straight. It look very, really clean. Just keep doing that to all sides and uh, all points, and you'll be ready to go to start painting it black. Be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I send it all the sides down. It doesn't look that great, but this is 
good enough for me. Looks pretty good, but you can always start sanding it a little bit more, or however you want. All right, guys, I'm about to paint it black. Let's get started. So I got it right here, can here. What I'm gonna use is this black spray paint. I bought it at Home Depot in the spray paint aisle. It's fast drying, all purpose spray paint. Alright guys, so what I paint my stuff on is a, a piece of box, basically. You don't need to go in the grass and fuck it up. All you need to get is a box and put some paper down and you'll be ready to go. Alright, so you can see at the other one you just put it down. Just like that. Alright guys, I'm gonna do three layers. Here's the final product. It doesn't look that it doesn't look too bad. Spray painted both sides, sand it down, and it was exactly like the other side. We're about to measure where am I gonna put in my bumper and we're about to mount it. Let's go. I take all my measurements. I compared the measurements from that side that I did to the measurements on this side. They look almost perfectly the same. So it should look like it should start from this point, right in the middle, and finish on this point. All right, guys, I'm actually where I put uh, where I'm gonna uh, drill the holes, right here and right here, and I, I'm gonna measure the same thing on the car. Should be some should be looking something like this. I have some L's that I got from Home Depot. I look like this. Make sure you get the right size. You're gonna have to custom fit this to the bumper and the canger. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, so you got the hammer. And the, what the problem is with these L's is that when you when you break when the, when you put them on the canger and you try to put it against the car, it, it won't. It's not gonna flex. It's not gonna fit flush. So. You can't really fit it like this. Only the bottom one you could, but you don't want to flex the actual canyon because it's really, it's really sensitive and it can crack any time. If you put this and you try to flex it, if you look under, you need to hammer it down until it goes with the body. So what you're gonna do is get a hammer and you're gonna hammer it down, just like this. Not too hard. And it should extend. Alright. Let's try it again. So you got it in the kangaroo. You're gonna put it against the body. And there you go. I got lucky. Well it goes right with the bumper and with the kangaroo and it should look something like this. So now it's not tilting up. It's going exactly with the bumper and exactly with the canyon. And you got to do that with the bottom L and with the top L. Alright guys, I'll be right back. Get this done. Alright guys, so I've measured where I'm going to put the first hole in the bumper. To hold the L slash bracket for the hanger. And it's going to look something like this. Alright guys, I'm about to drill the hole, right there, make sure you do it slowly. So, it should look something like this. Alright, got the bowl and the nut in, it's very sturdy. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole in the canyon so it exactly goes with it. Should be looking something like this. Alright, I made a hole in the canyon right here. And I'm about to put it, adapt it to the L. One bitch. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It's aerodynamically and 
Aerodynamic as fuck. Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> so yeah, it's looking pretty clean. Alright guys, so I made a hole in the canyard. I made a hole in the bumper. Custom fabricated this with the fucking hammer. But it's very it fits in very nice. It should sit something like this. the finished product it actually looks better this side look, looks actually better than the other side but yeah very clean very nice very sturdy hey yeah, guys this is pretty much it all right guys i'm gonna make some nice vids of these kangards i hope you guys like it I hope you guys liked that video, DIY Kangards, and they came out to be really flush. Alright guys, uh, just to let you guys know, I was here with... With who? Mike from ATL Garage. Yeah man, he was doing all the filming, and I hope you guys liked that third person view of filming. And if you guys like the way that looks, uh, comment below if you like it. Alright guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you next time on the Tales Finest.